The following is a presentation of SC State Athletics. For the third week in a row, the South Carolina State Bulldogs are on the road this week in Greensboro, North Carolina, to take on their oldest rival, the North Carolina Anti Aggies. The Bulldogs and Aggies have been playing since 1924. South Carolina State leads the series with 33 wins, 23 losses, and two ties. But the Aggies have won the last six in a row, and Aggie head coach Sam Washington has never lost to South Carolina State. Can the Bulldogs flip the script and stop the streak? We're about to find out. Coming up next on the Buddy Pew Show. Pressure coming, gotta let it go. Throws it out there. Oh, Coach Pew, North Carolina, anti South Carolina State. This isn't even a MEAC game, but it's got kind of a MEAC playoff kind of atmosphere. It does. Anytime you play North Carolina NT, it gets us, gets our dander up. Uh, it's a rival game. Uh, we are next door neighbors. You know, all the different kinds of things that you think about when you talk about rivalries. Uh, I think it has that part you know, of the play in, in, in place. So I think we've. We've actually got a deal going now where we can play these guys for some years to come. They was talking of the fact that we dropped the series after this year, but I think we're going to work on getting it back at least, if not in 23, 24. When you start talking about North Carolina a and I don't want to soften you up, Coach, but it certainly mm-hmm. makes a difference when you play a coach like Sam Washington, who's such a quality guy that you enjoy going up against. You do. Uh, Sam's a great guy and, and a good football coach, and he's been around this business for a long, long time. Uh, but now at that point today, you know, Prince. it's all bets off. Uh, we got to get after his fan. And, it, and I'm sure he's going to do the same for us. Uh, and we both going to be pretty similar. Uh, he's got a good offensive line. I'm sure he's going to drive his uh, offensive front to do something to give him an opportunity to run the football. I think he'll try to drive the ball that way. And then at the same time, you know, I'm sure we'll try to do the same. When you coach and you start talking about this game, how much did you see last week of Duke that you think you'll see of North Carolina a and today? I think you'll see some. Uh, there'll be some things that, that, that Duke did that we don't quite have the same kind of talent to do. But at the same time, you know, we'll try to copy some of that stuff. And I'm sure, you know, we'll see them, especially after they start having some success, do some of those same kind of things that they were successful with. They'll run the football with their guys in a way that, you know, I think will tie into what we saw last week. And then, you know, a lot of that play-action passing game is going to be very similar. So I'm telling you that, you know, this team start to really show themselves to, to start to develop a little bit more, you know, toward the NAT game. How do you get the team coach going into this game not to believe the fact that just because they're 0-3 and they're not a good football team? Well, you know, it's A&T and South Carolina State. Those guys know that these guys will definitely give it their all. And, you know, it's always a knockdown drag out to the very end. Now, A&T definitely, you know, has, has, has had a tougher schedule, you know, than we've, been, than we've seen them have in the past. But we know the people that they play. You know, we know how good Central is. Everybody knows that North Dakota State is one of the best teams in the country. And then at the you know, at the same time, Duke's a Division One top-notch program. They, you know, went, uh, I guess, to the last letter of the day with Kansas out at Kansas. So all those teams were really good teams, and a and has shown themselves to be quality enough to hang in there with them. We better play good or we'll get beat all up here today. What's going to take for you to get the win? What's going to be the difference in this football game? We got to stop the run. We got to create the ability to be able to determine how they're going to actually attack us. Uh, by stopping the run, you can force them to throw the football. At the same time, offensively, Corey Fields has got to have a good day. All right, Coach, best of luck. Have a good day. Roberts approaches, end over end kick, and this is going to be Jones at about the five yard line. Starts up field at the 10, heads to his left, and cuts back to the right. Tackle down, hit, breaks the tackle at the 25, still on his feet, gets outside, still on his feet. Way up to the 37-yard line. Corey Field, shotgun snap, play action, fake it, throw out in slot two, Shaq Davis. Shaq Davis spins, heads across the 40, up to the 38-yard line of North Carolina a and Shotgun snap, looking left, Corey throwing, got a man out there, it is caught, touchdown, Rakeem White from Corey Fields from 27 yards out. There's the snap. 
to give to Tootin. Tootin trying to get outside. Tootin breaks two tackles. Tootin gets through. Tackled Boy. down by uh, Jalen Barr in the secondary. What a big pickup of about nine yards on the plate. They give it to Tootin, trying to get outside. Tootin, uh, this is Givens, gets upfield. And he in the Bulldog territory at the 47-yard line. Hand off inside. Tootin, good, my goodness. Tootin right up the middle for another 14-yard pickup. They snap it right to Tootin over the left side. Tootin cuts back inside across the five. Touchdown. Bashal Tootin just cannot be stopped here on this drive. Fields back to pass. Here comes pressure. Fields flips it out, and this is on the on the carry for South Carolina State up till about the 25-yard line. Snaps good by Caleb Brown. Dyson's toe is in it. It is up. It is long enough, and it is no, no good. good. Oh, my goodness. He just missed that. Shotgun snap. Corey back to pass. Corey looking. Throwing it out there. Man's out there. Caught first down in the Aggie territory, making the move. That's Hezekiah Massey. Third down now and 10. Corey back to pass. Corey looking. Throwing it out there. It is caught first now. Shaq breaks the tackle at the 40. At the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Down to the eight-yard line. They snap it back. Looking the other way. They throw the slant. It's caught. Touchdown. Richard Bailey. The post was open. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Snaps low. Dyson can't get it. Dyson picks it up. And the football's on the turf. And the snap was no good. Dyson didn't have a chance. Shotgun snap. Fowler, blitz coming, screen, Tootin, trouble. At the 45, at the 50, Tootin on his feet, first down, down at the 41-yard line. They give it to Tootin, up the middle, Tootin just runs into uh, to, uh, Dwayne Nichols and spins off him. Dwayne Nichols makes the tackle in motion, it's Mosley. Back to pass, Fowler, inside pitch to Tootin, Tootin made a man miss, Tootin at the five, Tootin flipped up into the end zone for the score. What an incredible run. Brown deep end over end kick. Rakim White will feel it at the two. Fumbles the football into the end zone. White will have, White's going to try to run it out. White at the five. White at the ten. As Corey Fields takes the knee, and that will be the final play of the first half. And Fields goes down, and that will do it for the first half of play, although A&T called another timeout. The scoreboard still shows two seconds on the game clock. And Corey Fields goes down. Corey with the snap, takes a knee. And the officials quickly blow the whistle. There's a snap. Dyson Roberts gets off the punt. A beauty. End over end. Amani Jones will get a chance at the 45 and goes out of bounds at the 31-yard line. They tried to draw the Bulldogs outside. Says his toe is in it. It's up. It's good. It is up. It's it is good. Good. Wow. The strategy paid off for North Carolina A&T. A&T with the three-point field goal from 49 yards out. And that is the end of the first half. Our score, North Carolina A&T 17, South Carolina State 13. All right, Coach, we started the football game well, moved the football right down the field, got on the scoreboard quickly, and it looks like A&T was going to be in for a long night. You know what? I thought that we'd be able to mix it up a little bit better, too, but we threw the ball real well at the beginning of the game, and Corey mixed it up pretty good in a way where, you know, we got a little bit of run done, but we really did a nice job on the RPO game and the passing game, and Thought we were going to have some success for the whole rest of the game. It didn't quite work out that way. You know, the thing of it is, Coach, I thought A&T – most undisciplined early in the football game. They kept having penalty after penalty. Yeah. And from that standpoint, I thought it would be them that would eventually lose their poise and they were able to flip well, it later on with the run yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. It, it is one of those kind of strange kind of scenarios where, you know, they were getting into all kind of mess. And somehow or another, instead of us staying above it all, we kind of got down in there, you know, with them also. And from that point on, th we had some issues. You know, talk about issues, Coach. We didn't talk much about the special teams, but Amani Jones, who was number 16, had some good returns, even though they had one call back. Kind of get you make, kind of get on your heels about the uh, the kicking yeah. game because uh, just a lot of yardage on the kicking game. We did. We we, we had a punt return for uh, oh six to seven yards that you know, thank goodness they didn't uh, they didn't actually have because of the penalty. But I can tell you what, we've got our work cut out for us, and we got to make sure that we can put those punts in the right places. Sometimes when we design these punts, you got to make sure that you design them around your coverage. And, 
you know, we were kicking the ball a little bit opposite of it. And then Dyson Roberts got hurt a little bit, which really hurt us, you know, on, on over in the game because of the fact that he's our, I guess, maybe mainstay as far as being able to do all the different kinds of styles of punt. We really got to figure out now where we can, you know, find a, uh, a way to, to solve that deal with that injury. Of course, being the most deal in the first half, we were only rushed for nine yards in the first half, and that one had to be the biggest concern. The biggest concern of all was the lack of ability to run the football. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that we didn't have one of our, you know, frontline running backs here. Um, Ja'Cory Benson was a, a, a good fill-in, and, and, and Ja'Cory can have his moments, but he couldn't quite seem to find it tonight. And then having the uh, freshman in there was not quite the, the, the combination that we needed for tonight. At the end of the first half, Coach, there was a situation where we got backed up down in only end zone. Uh, the controversy about whether a yeah. had another timeout or not. And they were able to uh, get some cheap points and, and get the football back and kick a long right. field goal. And Andrew Brown proves he's one of the best field goal kickers in FCS football. You got that right. He's a long distance guy too. So we thought that they were out of timeouts. At that point, it would allow the clock to run out. From that point, then they went on and got another score, which you know we didn't, we didn't feel like was, was uh, something that should have happened. And that was where the first half ended on Saturday. South Carolina State trailing North Carolina A&T by score 17 to 13. We'll take time out here on the Buddy Pugh Show and we'll have more right after these messages. Your home is where your memories live, where you laugh and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Prisma Health keeps South Carolina hearts beating strong. As the largest cardiovascular provider in the state and home to the only freestanding heart hospital dedicated to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of heart disease, we provide the heart care you need. With more innovative treatments like LVAD, more specialists, and more locations closer to you, we're doing even more to help you <laughs> be your healthiest you. Prisma Health, the heart and vascular experts. Hey, South Carolina, you can make a choice for your Medicaid health plan. Choose Healthy Blue. With Healthy Blue, your whole family is covered for free or low-cost checkups and prescriptions, plus eye exams and glasses for kids and adults. Get all this and more from a plan backed by the Cross and Shield. The choice is easy. Get Healthy Blue now at choosehealthyblue.com slash SC and get more from Medicaid. For myself, I'd say just take it one play at a time. When we get to third down, just try to keep the chains moving. Give the offense the best situation going forward. Even if I have to run the football more or I got to find a check down faster or just better communicate with my teammates so we be on the same page. Uh, when I say we all on the same page, you click it is kind of dangerous because you got a couple guys running full three, you got a couple guys who make people miss and take it all the way. So just having all those guys on the field is like a lot of options out there. You just go through the middle, you be like, oh, ooh, who you want to go to? All right, folks, it's time for the Prism Health Injury Report for the North Carolina A&T game. And, Coach, we had some guys banged up, and, of course, Kendrell Flowers did not play. And so, from that standpoint, we're a little shorthanded. Yeah, uh, Chris Salmon at our offensive tackle, you know, who's one of our better offensive linemen, didn't play either. So, you know, hopefully we can get both those guys back full speed this, this coming week. Um, Dyson Roberts, our punter, got banged up a little bit trying to make a tackle. I think he may be out for a little while. Um, Blake Morrow came in, though, and did a nice job of, of filling in for him that way. Got a little concerned when Caleb Brown got hurt because he's a yeah, long snapper. Yeah, Caleb got banged up a little bit, and I think it's mostly just kind of a, 
you know, a bruise or some of that kind of stuff. I don't think he's really hurt, hurt, but at the same time, he did get banged up a time or two. All right, that is the Prisma Health Injury Report for the North Carolina A&T game. We'll take a time out here on the Buddy P Show and come back with more after these messages. At Founders Federal Credit Union, we know success is a team effort. We're always cheering for you, side by side, so you can dream big and achieve your goals. Offering products and services that put you in the lead. Whether that's helping you buy a car, build your savings, or supporting your community, we're here with the financial support you need. That's teamwork. Score big with Founders Federal Credit Union. Relax with Founders. Think big. Something life-changing. I'm talking education. Let's get inventive. Blow things up in a good way. Do it for 20 years? Wake up and education has received billions in funding. Who does all this? If you've ever played one of these or these, that would be you. Yeah, thank you. Andrew Brown kicks it off. Rakim will fill it at the three-yard line. He's at the five. He's at the 10 at the 15. Going to the right at the 20. Cut down at the 22. Dyson gets off a of beauty. Jones all the way back to the 25. Heading to the right. Jones gets up the field and hit hard. My goodness, was he hit hard. Dyson Roberts, the punter. Yep. First and 10 from their own 38-yard line. Shotgun snap. They give it to Tootin. Tootin cuts back right. Tootin, 30 at 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown to Charles Tootin from 38 yards out. High snap. They throw it out in the flat. It's caught by Shaq Davis. Trying to break free. Gets up to about the 34-yard line. Fowler back to pass. Fowler looking. Fowler going long. Fowler got a man out there. Well covered. It is caught. What a catch over there by North Carolina A&T. Bulldogs have got to keep them out of the end zone here. We're going to stay in this football game. Give to Graves. Over the left side. Graves breaking tackles. Graves fighting into the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina A&T. Rakim White will have an opportunity from the 10-yard line. He's at the 15, at the 20. Fights off a tackle at the 35, at the 30. Up the field at about the 38-yard line. Good return by Rakim White. Fields with the shotgun snap, play action, fake throwing it out there. It is caught. Shaq Davis up to the 44-yard line of North Carolina A&T. Fields, play action, fake throws it out in the flat. This is Rakim White. White up to the 38-yard line, going to be a pickup of seven on the play. Shotgun snap, Fields, play action, fake. Fields back to pass, Fields going long. Has a man out there, Shaq Davis catches the football. Touchdown, South Carolina State. Just like that, the Bulldogs back on the board. Shotgun snap, Tootin breaks three tackles, goes through at the 10, at the 5. Tootin down to the two-yard line. Tootin punishing people. They give it to Tootin up the middle. No, play action fake. Touchdown, North Carolina a &T. Snap back to Corey. Play action fake. Corey throwing a quick pass out. It is caught. First down into Aggie territory. Back to pass Corey Fields. Fields throws it out. Pass is caught by Hezekiah Massey at the 32-yard line. His pass was batted, but it had enough on it to get to the receiver. Snap back to Corey. Corey looking right. Throwing it out there. It is caught. First down at the 18-yard line. Corey back to pass. Corey looking left. Flips it out to Ja'Cory Benson. Touchdown, South Carolina State. Corey back to pass. Looking left. Throwing it over the middle. It is nearly intercepted by North Carolina NT and... They was intercepted on the carom. There's a snap. Corey looking left. Now Corey looking right, throws it over the middle. It is high. intercepted. Intercepted. Seven. With the interception. Tried to hit Richard Bailey over the middle. The pass was a little high. Brown snaps. Toe is in it. It is up. It's good. My goodness. Andrew Brown, 48 yards. There's a snap. Corey back to pass. Throws it out there. Caught Shaq Davis at the 35. Shaq fights forward to about the 39-yard line, 38-yard line. That's going to be a first down for South Carolina State and North Carolina A&T for the seventh year in a row. We'll defeat South Carolina State tonight by a score of 41-27. to 
second half, Coach, we began with possession. We knew going into the locker room, we're down four now, that we had to do something on that first possession, and we could not get anything going. Yeah, we had a bad start for the second half. We actually got a pretty good first down play and then got a ball better. That's one of the things about the RPO game, and your quarterback's not a real big guy, too, is sometimes you got it, but, you know, when you throw, they get a handle and some of that kind of stuff. And then from there, you know, we don't complete the third down ball. So we give it back to them, and they hot as a firecracker at that point. They've done, you know, their uh, uh, homework on getting that, their their running game going, and we didn't quite have a a, a good an answer for them on defense. So there for about two series, then at the beginning of the second half, we couldn't stop them. We get down 18 at one point, coach, mm -hmm. but cut it back to 11 once and back to 12 twice back in this football game. Uh, you hate to take moral victories but the effort was there and we could have made a play at that point in the game yeah you know it was one of those kind of deals where you always stay within two scores and uh we were just trying to figure out how to get a stop or two on defense we finally did get one but it didn't quite connect for us on offense tell you what uh you know a t played really well tonight i gotta give uh sam and his crew uh, the, uh some credit Jalen Fowler, the quarterback, played a lot better than a lot of folks anticipated. He had some receivers yeah. to make some plays. Uh, when we had some 50-50 balls, we just didn't win. Yeah, we, he hit a ball or two, and I was surprised that he could run the football without not much of a passing attack, which was really probably the most disappointing part of the whole deal. But I can tell you what, uh, uh, their offensive line is pretty good. We said that they'd lean on that offensive line. And, uh, and take that running back and hurt us. And, you know, they found that they could do it. And at that point, they went back to that well uh, early and often. And that was the way it ended on Saturday. South Carolina State going down to North Carolina a and by a score of 41-27. to We'll take another time out here on the Buddy P Show and come back and tell you what's up next for your South Carolina State Bulldogs. This is where the formula ends and the magic begins. We take the mold, shake the mold, and break the mold. From late nights in the gym to later nights in the library, we grind. Because if you think greatness is a game, think again. Here, nothing shines unless we all do. Your home is where your memories live where you laugh, and where you love. We understand the importance of the valuables under your roof, tangible and intangible alike. So no matter what's around the corner, we'll be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for nearly 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. Why do we travel? Why do we fly? Are we called by the excitement of untold adventures in faraway places? Driven to shape the future of our world or to share our world with future generations? We designed Columbia Metropolitan Airport for you and her and them. So when the day arrives for your next journey, we'll be ready to get you there. Columbia Metropolitan Airport, fly with ease. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we all just got new smartphones at Cricket. Hi. Hi. Hola. Hi. Hi. Okay, bye. 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 Get great seats. Safer, simpler, and smarter with TicketSmart. Choose great seats from over 125,000 live events, all backed with a TicketSmarter 100% ticket guarantee. Get your tickets smarter at TicketSmarter.com. Right, welcome back, Coach. South Carolina, South Carolina State. You've played them twice before. It's always fun to go play with Williams Bryce, but you got a hungry ball club that we're going to be facing Gamecocks. You know what, though? We need to get back on the bicycle here. This is our shot. Uh, South Carolina's there. <laughs> They're <laughs> sitting for the pickings. We need to try to see if we can get in there and get after them a little bit. When you start talking about South Carolina, Coach, and one of the things we weren't able to go against North Carolina a and is run the football. you yeah. got a big defensive line you're going to have to deal with, but you're going to have to find some running backs. You know what? I do need to find some running backs, don't I? Uh, we had a little bit of an issue with uh, 
not being able to get Kendrell and, and Alex James. Hopefully we can get him back some this week too. So we'll have uh, all of our offensive line back, which I think you know, will, will help us a bunch. And then at that point, then we need to see if we can find a way that we can mix it up a little bit and give them a little bit of a uncertainty about when you know we're going to be throwing and running. Of course, South Carolina State moved the football well in the air against North Carolina A&T. Gamecocks, of course, have got some questions in the secondary coach. And, you know, you're going to have to get some time for Gore to throw the football. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll be a chore. I can tell you that. that and those guys are hungry for wins. I guarantee you it'll be a you know a tough deal for us this coming Saturday. But you know what? We're looking forward to the challenge. We're you look at the to opportunity, both. Coach, and a lot mm -hmm. of kids look forward to this opportunity mm -hmm. to play a PWI school uh, before a big crowd. That's exactly what the situation is. Anytime you get an opportunity to show that you belong at that level too, then you want to try to make sure you get it done that way. And when the pro scouts come in, that's the first thing, you know, they want to see how you did against, you know, UCF, how you did against South Carolina. So at that point, then you've got a recommendation that you can actually put out there that can help you for years to come. Well, folks, we're looking forward to it. Looking, to see, looking forward to South Carolina State taking on South Carolina this coming week at williams Bryce Stadium. I hope to see you there in the place. And of course, hope to see you next week right here on Valley Sports Southeast on the Buddy Pugh Show.